forest clearing, steeped in deep dark greens and browns. The earth speckled with droplets of sunlight that have managed to break through the towering conifers above. The morning air is a mild 10 degrees Celsius, and the weather is light and breezy. It is early spring, and on the ground some of the earliest known flowering plants are beginning to bloom. A rustle from the ferns betrays the presence of animal life hidden no more, as a small feathered dinosaur bolts from the green undergrowth and steps into the clearing. At first one could be forgiven for identifying him as a flesh-eating predator, with his dromaeosaur-like stance and sharp curved claws on the end of his forelimbs. This is, in fact, a herbivore, a male in size of a saurus, named for the long rodent-like incisors protruding from the upper jaw, visible even when the mouth is closed. The dinosaur is striking and attractive, with a breeding plumage which sees him dressed in vibrant reds and yellows across his eyes and crest, contrasting greatly against the speckled browns and grays of his torso and tail. Standing at roughly one meter tall, he scans the forest for threats. Danger can be found in many shapes and sizes in these woods. From the four-ton Tyrannosaur Eutyrannus, to the agile arboreal glider Cynornithosaurus. Satisfied that all is safe, he tucks into the rich foliage growing adjacent to the banks of a nearby creek. Another day in the Yixiang formation of early Cretaceous China has begun. The Yixiang Formation, located in what is now the Liaoning Province, situated on China's northeast coast, is a paleontologist's paradise. First investigated by Japanese scientists in 1933, the site initially drew interest for a large number of unique reptiles and fish discovered there up until the end of World War II, when Chinese scientists took over the excavations. It wasn't until the 1990s when the first dinosaurs and birds were discovered in Yixiang. And to this date, over 30 species of dinosaur have been unearthed at this site, including some famous faces. The diminutive Ceratopsian Cetecosaurus, turkey-like Caudipteryx, and a few species of Titanosaur have all been described from fossils originating in the Yixiang Formation. These fossils are estimated to be roughly between 125 and 121 million years old, dating from the Byromanian to Aptian of the early Cretaceous period. The Yixing Formation is extremely significant in terms of dinosaur paleontology. This is due largely to the huge concentration of feathered theropods found here. Some of the earliest discoveries, in fact, which proved many theropods possessed primitive feathers or filaments which lined their bodies, limbs, heads, and tails. The very first instance of such a discovery occurred when a Chinese farmer and part-time fossil hunter, Li Yu Min, unearthed a very special fossil slab in August 1996. The fossil slabs clearly showed a small theropod dinosaur. Its short body held horizontally with an extensive tail projecting itself vertically into the air. The neck was splayed back, forcing the head to point in the same direction as its tail. Amazingly, the perimeter of the fossil, which scientists named Cynoceropteryx, meaning Chinese reptilian wing, was encircled with a dark, fuzzy fringe, which ran from the top of its head to the tip of its tail. This is the first evidence that some dinosaurs were not entirely scaly beasts. They were covered in a kind of primitive feather. In some cases, including Cynoceropteryx, we can even determine the color of some of the Yixing's dinosaurs. In 2008, Yale graduate Jacob Vinther and colleagues discovered the presence of melanosomes in the Cynoceropteryx fossils. These are microscopic structures hidden deep within the framework of the fossilized feathers that, if preserved well enough, can provide us with an almost photorealistic image of what a particular dinosaur might have looked like in life, depending on which pigments are present. Through intense study, biologists have been able to determine the Cynoceropteryx was mainly a light ginger color, 
which spread across the torso, arms, and legs. The dinosaur was countershaded, with a light beige belly and face. The two colors combined at the tail to form a banded pattern, reminiscent of a modern-day ringtail lemur. Across the eyes was a bandit mask of color, similar to that of a raccoon, only shaded in deep red pigments. This eye mask would likely have served as a warning signal that the little dinosaur wasn't to be messed with. At the end of each arm were three sharp claws, which could have dealt a careless predator some painful damage. It is through examining the melanosomes that we have been able to determine the coloration of several other Ischian residents. The small four-winged gliding dromaeosaur Microraptor was a shiny iridescent black. Caudipteryx, an oviraptorid similar in size and shape to the modern turkey, was coated in a thick down of grays and browns, with a black and white striped pattern on the tail that was most likely used for display purposes. The small, bird-like Anchiornis was a deep black, which contrasted beautifully against the red crest on the top of its head. The wings were a pale white, with black spots running across each feather. Not all of the Ishiang theropods were quite so pint-sized, however. The aforementioned Eutyrannus, perhaps more well-known to the public, was a giant. This basal tyrannosaur, an early relative of the mighty Tyrannosaurus and Tarbosaurus, stalked the lakeside ginkgo forests of Ishiang. Its 9-meter frame, aiding it to work in packs to bring down even larger dinosaurs. The huge sauropods that Eutyrannus shared the lakeside forest with. Eutyrannus too has been proven to possess a coat of primitive feathers or filaments, perhaps to keep the dinosaur warm during periods of exceptional cold. Perhaps the most bizarre of all the Ischian theropod inhabitants is the Baypiosaurus, a member of the Therizinosaur family that measured just over two meters in length covered in a thick down of filamentous protofeathers. These long-clawed herbivores were unique in the sense that they sported a second coat of much longer feathers, sprouting from the downy layer. It is theorized that these feathers may have been used in elaborate mating displays, or to signal messages between members of the same species. Yixiang is known for its amazing dinosaur biodiversity. Among the theropods we've mentioned, the formation's residents also include Hexing, the smallest ornithomimid yet to be discovered, Dilong, another early Tyrannosaur, Gracilloraptor, and Zongjianosaurus, two small arboreal gliders similar in size and form to the Microraptor, which we mentioned briefly earlier. The second largest group of dinosaurs represented at Yixing are the Ornithischians, which famously contain large numbers of herbivorous species, including but not limited to the Ceratopsians, Ornithopods, and Heterodontosaurs. A strikingly famous example at Ishing can be found in the Cytecosaurus, a small Ceratopsian that through the discovery of hundreds of individual specimens, of which 17 distinct species have been proposed, has taught us a great deal about its appearance. One such fossil, through extensive analysis, has been proven to belong to a two-meter-long, beaked bipedal dinosaur, painted in a deep earthy brown with speckled black spots towards the front of the torso. The dinosaur was countershaded, with a light yellowish beige on the underside, with black coloring across the facial region. Cytecosaurus also possessed extended cheekbones, which protruded from the side of the face, creating broad, pointed structures that were potentially used for defensive purposes. What was most unusual about the Cytecosaurus was the fact that, in 2002, it too was discovered to be the proud owner of feathers, or bristles, made of keratin, localized on the top side of the tail, standing tall and skyward. This was especially surprising, as this was a ceratopsian dinosaur, related to the likes of giant biological tanks such as the Styracosaurus and Triceratops, not closely related to theropods. This has, in turn, opened up a whole new world of speculation for scientists and paleoartists alike. 
who have been able to confidently depict similar creatures with feathers or filaments. It is hypothesized that Cytecosaurus and its relatives may have used these bristly structures for display or communication purposes. Leoceratops was another very similar Ischiang dinosaur, occupying a similar niche in the same place. In 2001, the Ankylosaurus, Leoningosaurus, was described. The holotype fossil is commonly believed to belong to a juvenile of the species, but this measures just 34 centimeters in length. This has, however, been proposed to be false information. If this was the case, and the fossil is from an adult dinosaur, that would make Leoningosaurus a triple record breaker, allowing it to take the title as potentially the most bizarre fossil ever found. Firstly, the tiny size would make the dinosaur the smallest Ornithischian ever discovered. This comes as a massive surprise, considering the Leoningosaurus is part of the family tree that includes colossal armored dinosaurs, such as the Ankylosaurus and Euplocephalus. Studies of this specimen, specifically on the gut, suggest this little dinosaur was a piscivore, or at least an omnivore as traces of fish have indeed been found preserved as the dinosaur's final meal in the digestive system. Secondly then, this would make the little Leoningosaurus the only Ornithischian that we know of, which definitely wasn't entirely herbivorous. The dentition of the Leoningosaurus consists of teeth that were much sharper than typical ankylosaurs, indicating that this dinosaur may have even hunted the fish it ate. If so, this would allow it to break its third record, the only known aquatic armored dinosaur. Leoningosaurus is currently a monotypic genus. There is only one species known. Scientists have, quite appropriately, named this species Leoningosaurus paradoxus, meaning paradoxical Leoning lizard. The Ornithischians of Yixiang, despite being outnumbered by their theropod cousins, were equally diverse. Alongside the dinosaurs we've already covered lived Tianyulong, a heavily feathered heterodontosaurid, the large cow-sized hadrosaur Jinjosaurus, and the little ceratopsian Hongshanosaurus, among several others. That just leaves the sauropods then. The colossal long-necked herbivores, prominent in every man, woman, and child's mental image of the Mesozoic. Three definite species of sauropod have been unearthed from Yixiang, all of them titanosaurs. These include Dongbei Titan, Liaoningo Titan, and Euhelopus. Other specimens have been discovered, which are also most likely titanosaurs. But scientists still aren't certain of which genus they belong to or whether or not they may belong to an entirely new genus or genuses. All of these creatures were extremely tall, towering high above any other creature present in Yixiang. Browsing from the ginkgos and fir trees that comprise these ancient Chinese forests. For titanosaurs, these sauropods were relatively small, but were still big enough to avoid predation from almost all of Yixiang's carnivores. The only threat to an adult Yixing titanosaur would have been a calculating pack of hunting Eutyrannus, working together to isolate members of the herd before snapping at unfortunate stragglers with their powerful jaws. Baby sauropods were surprisingly small, all things considered, and would have probably faced a much wider range of threats from not only Yixing's theropods, but also its mammal stock. So there we have it, the Yixing formation of early Cretaceous China, in all its vibrancy and splendor. The dinosaurs of this biota have been preserved so beautifully that it's incredibly easy to picture them for what they were, living, breathing, wild animals, analogous to the present day's woodland and forest animal life. Massive feathered predators hunted in packs to bring down even more massive, long-necked herbivores. Amidst the leaf litter, turkey and pheasant-like creatures displayed and signaled to each other using brightly colored plumage markings and wing signals. 
High above in the treetops, gliding predators hunted gliding prey, which in turn preyed on the huge biodiversity of invertebrate life associated with the Ishiang Formation. Whilst aquatic ankylosaurs chased darting fish through the lakes and river systems, this might be just one little slice of the Mesozoic life, but it is by far one of the most visualizable. Ishiang has helped us understand dinosaurs for what they really were, allowing scientists to cast aside the long outdated depiction of huge scaly Godzilla-like monsters. The formation has painted a more intricate, more delicate, more subtle picture of what it was like to live, breathe, and survive as a dinosaur. A picture which is ever-changing, constantly being added to. The hardest part is waiting to see just what gets added next.